Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I'm your lovely host, Galvin, and we're playing some more Art of War. It's Ethiopia. So the Mamluks are embroiling themselves into a war with Ottomans. It's getting uppity. And war serfdom. You do not have any diplomats to send. That'll change soon. So I might actually be able to uh, attack them at some point. Uh, at some point soon, especially if I can improve the Mamluk's opinion of me, which is actually something I'm going to be starting to do after these claims come in. I'm going to try and get the Mamluks to not hate me. And... Alright, new technology. Arquibus, excellent. Now we can pick some new cab. Let's see, two, 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 two. two reg. Invest in new idea. Still can get that. Considering it. So, there is the potential. They will probably not accept. Excellent! So, good news. The plan's on. The plan is on. We'll uh, let them up front first. That way they don't walk over each other and die. The plan is on. They won't accept. Because the Mamluks are 420 in debt. They have war exhaustion. They have some occupied and besieged provinces. This is great. I love it. Yes. They have no chance of accepting. Ooh. Aw, your leader's all fire. No shock. 5th of January, 30th of December. Want to withdraw from that. Yeah, there we go. That way no river crossing. Apparently it's still river crossing, but that's okay. Eh, well. Okay, do you have any siege? You do. So I'm just going to send these guys up and out them. I'm not going to get a leader for them, because as much as I do like leaders... Alright. That's their army. Good. Everything is ours. And hey, even our vassals are showing up. There. We locked them. That's GG. They lose. Acceptance. Gain one base tax. Alright. All the better. Where the fuck did I get 300 gold from? I'm apparently not paying attention to shit. Alright, well, whatever. I just keep getting money. Build up a reserve. Obviously not going to be able to do too much here. As much as I really do like indirect rule. Ballsy move here. But if I get indirect rule, it's 10 years less nationalism on them. Which makes things a lot better. Uh, again? You fucking pricks. God, that event fires way too often sometimes. So, what shall the fate of Mercuria be? Probably full annexation, I think. I need all the land I can get, really. We have to face that fact. All the land I can get. Yeah. Put it to good use. That uh, thing I just researched. Indirect rule. Twenty admin. Yemen is no longer a valid rival for Ethiopia. Fine by me. So, ten years less nationalism is good. I like it. I like it. Uh, we'll do that as well. We're just gonna try and yeah, maintain the diplomat and the Ottomans. 
I'd really like to do something about that hostile relations thing. There. There, see? Me and the Ottomans, we can get... Mamluks, rather. We can get along. At least for now. On a side note, should probably split you guys in half again. <laughs> uh... Okay. So, we now have a giant region of our area that is Shia. And not Kord. The obvious thing to do is just increase autonomy. There. This region will be in autonomous for quite some time, but that's okay. Because Nubian should become an accepted culture, which will actually help out a lot. Yeah, I think so. Dong level will be 40, so that'll be the last one we start. But that's fine. Hmm. Okay. Like I said, I think it was worth it to go uh, and jump to indirect rule. And if Nubian somehow doesn't become an accepted culture, cultural ties had better make it one. Like Nubian needs to become an accepted culture bad. Oof. I don't know if the Ma the Mamluks did win that, I think. But they are, it said they're like 420 in debt, right? Uh, no, 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 this isn't fair. Oh, this is not even, not even, not even. Oh. Well, at least the air isn't too bad. One out of two ain't bad. Motherfucker. High maintenance modifier reduction, I like it. I mean, considering the, you know, the amount I paid for that. Minus 10%, that's 0.40 off. So basically, it's like getting him for 1.1. I hate this game. Fucking hell. Uh, God, my spy defense is fine. I'm not particularly worried about spies. Oh, well. I'm really sad about things now. That air was so good. Ugh. That air was so good, it's not fair. The good news is my force limit's up to 18. So, Mamluk's willing to join in. Trust, defensive war, and a mic. Mamluk's 252 in debt, Jews. Just trying to keep, you know, the Mamluk's nice and happy here. Refuse to join us. A war against us. Enemy, my enemy. Have Casas Billy. What do we have for them on them as Casas Billy? How long do we have that? If that would set us to zero. We could actually potentially get an alliance with them. Not that same religious group. Neutral attitude. Diplomatic reputation minus one. The fuck? Overextension, right? I fucking hate everything right now. 
Just God. Ugh. Just I. Ugh. Uh Should probably hire you. Yeah. No reason not to. This is an alliance with the uh, Mamluks is definitely in the question. In question here. Uh, I'd also like one with Byzantium, but they seem to hate me a lot and don't like royal marriages. <laughs> I've been trying to get one, but they're just like no. New state emerges in Sudan. What do we care who owns those wastelands? Hey there. So, this is why, uh, you know, doing anything here is a pretty bad idea. Here, royal marriage. Will you accept vassalization? Ethiopian-based tanks. Yeah, they probably will. Okay, so I should colonize that. That's what I get out of it. Alright. Cool. So, Funge emerged, which is useful. Off an alliance, of course. Native Risings, whatever. 43. We have a royal marriage. With threatened attitude. Diplomatic reputation. Base tax compared to Funge. So base tax appears to be my problem. Oh well, good dongle. Start corn that. Ah, well, we'll get in them. We'll get them. Uh, 43 is... We can get it. Um, maybe. The problem is they don't have, uh... Anything in particular useful. So, now my... Diplomatic reputation is 3 or something, right? Alright. Legitimacy plus 0.22. Our projection's only plus eight. Eclipsed Yemen. Eclipsed Adjardan. Adjaran. A rebel uprising. Elodian nationalists. How is Nubian not accepted yet? Oh, Lord. This is going to turn into a chore real quick. Right. Roll out of the air, I suppose. He's pretty useless. Yeah, not great. Oh well. Like I said, we're we can probably get this guy diplo vassalized or whatever. It's too expensive. Then again, do I really want to, or just be easier to conquer him? I think the answer is it's easier to conquer. I hate how every retreat has to be a uh, friggin' complete runaway. It's hard that there is no strategic withdrawals. Bit silly. Alright, yeah, they're our shit together. To the colony. Then we'll attack from the south. Alright. Let's clean up this revolution. Come on. I'm actually surprised that the revolution occurred. I mean, I was really expecting that, you know, Nubian would be... Here for the next five years. Cultural ties should do it. I have enough power to do it by July 1st, 1507. Good. It's just about two years away. We can do that. Aha. Aha. Finish these rebels up, scum off. Yeah, this is actually surprisingly stable, thanks to the uh, minus 10 years of nationalism. I like it. Oh no, what now? 
Zelia, the one province. Oh, yeah. 0, 0.00. Um, I see. What a problem, ain't it? It's only desert. Um. Well, I can reduce it to 9%. Yeah, okay. Unless there's someone I can swap out for here. No. Yeah, cancel the missionary. Not worth it. I'll reduce the unrest a fair bit. And these guys, I'm pretty certain I can just harsh treat. 45 for one province? One province. It's a fucking ripoff. Not even, not even worth it. Fuck that shit. Oh well. Are there any provinces we can convert? No. Should probably get that. Yeah. So we're finally done exploration ideas. Come on, I really need cultural ties here. I think cultural ties would be great, but either way. Time to end the episode here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Calvin, signing off.